So this video is designed just to show you the basic steps for automatic coding of focus groups or multi-person interviews uh, in Invivo 12. This is a new facility that was only introduced in one of the later releases of Invivo 11, so it's, it's relatively new. Um, and it was it, it has simplified greatly the process of making cases for multi-person interviews. Now this tutorial video assumes you understand what a case and a classification is. Um, if you don't, you may need to go back a few steps and look that up. Um, and that you want to make cases for individuals, even though your document contains multiple people. I'm using the tutorial project that comes preloaded with Invivo, and I'm just using Mary and James as the example because it's it's technically a focus group. It's got it's a multi-person interview, but it's got just two people in it, so it'll be easier to demonstrate. It's actually got three if I include the interviewer. I'm going to make a case also for the interviewer because um, I may want to run searches later on that um, looks at certain words or phrases, but I don't want the interviewer, who may also use similar words or phrases, turning up in the search. So we'll make a case for the interviewer as well. Now, if I open the document to show you, you can just see that basically the things you have to check for, one thing really, is that the speakers are tagged and that each speaker has a unique ID. So there's no point in putting speaker one, speaker two, speaker three in one focus group and then having speaker one, two and three in the next one because that's going to leave you um, with multiple people called speaker one who are not the same case. So the, the, the tag, whether it's a name or an ID or a number, has to be unique. It can be above the name like this or it can be in a tab, though it's more typically done, which would be Mary tab, um, excuse me, then the words. So... That doesn't matter, you can do it either way. The name of the tag does have to be at the beginning of the sentence. That's the only kind of caveat that you have to worry about. So once I have that, you can see there are three people. It's Mary and James are the participants and then Henry's the interviewer. So all we have to do, and we can do this with a bunch of documents or individually, is we right click on the document and we do auto code. So we're using the automatic coding in Envivo function to create our cases from a multi-person interview. I'm going to the uh, speaker name option here. So I'm saying next to that. And now I can see my transcript and I can see I have Henry as one speaker. And he's my interviewer. And if I just hit the tab button, I can see that Envivo has now found Henry's comments and is ready to code them. So I go to the next person who is Mary. And I go through again and I can scroll down here and I can say I also have James so I can now add James and that's all my speakers obviously if this was a 10 person focus group I could add all the names I simply say next to that and I can add it to an existing classification if I already have one or I can create a new one and I'm going to just put them in the cases folder but I could of course change that to a subfolder if like in the tutorial I have people and places in separate subfolders like you see down here. I'm just gonna put them in here for now for the demonstration. And then I click finish and that's job done. It's now created three cases in here with all of the comments from each of my speakers. You can see some spoke more than others. And if I open up Henry, you can see Henry has, uh, only Henry's comments will be coded to the case. So that's just all Henry's words and then physically linked to that, if I go to the properties, are his profiling and demographics information because I've assigned it to a classification. I haven't populated it yet because I've just created them, but I can do that. Or I can import my classification um, from a, an Excel table or whatever. But uh, I, the point is that that's all connected up correctly now, just like you would with a one-to-one -one interview. So I hope that makes your life a little bit easier if you're working with focus groups or multi-person interviews for creating your cases.